Hello everybody, it's Jennifer with Creative Cricut Designs at blogspot.com and I have a few things I'm working on. Um, I picked up a couple of those canvases. They're like art canvases. Um, they're white. I picked up, it's a, it comes in a two pack. They look like this. This is an eight by 10 pack. And these, the one that you see on my desk, I believe is a seven by 14. Um, but I just, I've never done anything like that and they're very inexpensive so I figured I could decorate my house with them or whatever. So I have two of them actually. I have this first one which what I did is I just took some paint. Let me go grab it here. I just used this Craftsmart acrylic paint. Looks like this. I think it's like not even, it's like 57 cents or something at Michael's. So I mixed the white and the black together to make this gray. I don't know how well you can see it. I don't want to lift it too much because nothing is adhered. So what I want to do is I want to adhere the little monsters, which they're all from the paper doll dress-up cartridge, which is this one. Very, very cute cartridge, and I would say it's a must-have because it has everything. I mean, I can't even go into it. It will take me forever, but... Very, very cute stuff. So what I did is I took the images from this page, right here, page, what are we working on, 49, and I cut out this little shape, I cut out the skeleton right here, and the ghost, and then of course I had my little Frankenstein, because I had to make that face, because I thought it was so cute with those Monster Mash. Um, Peachy Keen stamps, I love them. And he, so here he is, right here, and he's on page 52. But I use, like I said, the stamps. Let me give you a close up because he's so adorable. Look at him. And then I just put some glossy accents on his little eyes, and then I just add some like little stitching or whatever on his face. But I think he's super cute. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to do, but I'm not going to do it on film because I've never done it before and I'm scared, is I'm going to use the Mod Podge um, to adhere everything to this art canvas, and then I'm going to go over it to help it stick to my canvas. That way I don't have to worry about anything falling off in the future or my glue not holding. Now I have two of them. I have a matte finish, I believe, and then I have a glossy finish. Um, I've never used them. I did do one thing using Mod Podge um, when I went to Scrap Fest in 2010. So I'm going to um, go ahead and adhere that, and then I'll probably show you the finished picture um, after I'm done on this video or maybe a different video. And then I want to show you the other one that I'm working on which is also super duper cute and it's right here and this is the fall one that I'm doing and so what I did on this one is I painted it brown um, with the same crafts um, smart paint I just used a brown and then I have the two um, scarecrows from the simply charmed cartridge and then I use this stamp set, which is the Scarecrow Accessories, and then here's the girl face, and here's the boy face. And then I use this stamp right here to add um, a little stamp to his leg to match his shirt. So I just stamped it, and then I cut it out with my scissors, and it was quite a bit of work. So I added the buttons, here's his face up close, added the glossy accents to the eyes, and I have a little uh, clothespin here, which is what I'm going to use to hang the fall, it says fall, let me zoom in for you guys, you can maybe see it better, see how it says fall, okay, so I'm going to run some twine or some ribbon or some, not ribbon, but some twine or hemp or something onto the fall and then I'm going to tie it in a bow and then the, the clothespin is, go is going to be hanging like off their hand or something holding up the banner. Um, this one I don't think I'm going to be able to Mod Podge because of the clothespin and because on 
the girl scarecrow I have this button and twine in her hair and that's I'm not so sure and then the buttons on their clothes so this one I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get everything adhered so I don't know and then the ribbon is just regular ribbon because I didn't have any thicker ribbon and I went to Michael's yesterday to find some fall ribbon that was the thicker stuff with a wire in it and I couldn't find any so I'm just kind of kind of work with it so let I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the trick-or-treat one and then I'll come back okay everybody so here's my finished project and what I did is I used the mat for the um, Mod Pod Mod Podge you can see how it has like a shine to it. Um, I did not use the glossy part. I did use the um, matte finish, but I did go ahead and adhered everything to it with the Mod Podge and then went over it to get it to all stick on here. So now my little costume guys won't fall off. So that is the finished project for this. Um, I'm still working on the Scarecrow one and we'll probably put that one up on my blog when I figure out how I'm going to attach everything on that. And I'll get you the sizes to everything and whatnot. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day.